It was a lovely day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was approaching the station when he noticed two of the strangest characters he had ever seen in Farmer Oblivious's field. Hello, my name's Thomas. Who are you? He asked. Hello Thomas, I'm Shinty, and this is my brother Windy. We was travelling round the northwest of England when we came across the island of Sodor, and your nice farmer said we could stay in the field for a few days. Thomas was pleased to meet new people. He couldn't wait to tell the other engines about his new friends. Pshaw, sure, huffed Gordon. Their kind is the last thing we need around here. What do you mean? asked Thomas. They're perfectly nice people. You just haven't met them yet. Oh, Thomas, you're so naive. That's how it starts. Then things start going missing in the area. Then they pave over the field, followed by a lengthy eviction process, and finally, bare knuckle fist fights amongst local rivals. Oh, Gordon, stop making assumptions about people. But the next morning, Thomas awoke to find his spare buffers missing. That evening, Gordon returned to find his antique dome collection had vanished. few days, suspicion and mistrust grew between the engines and the new arrivals. He called for Bobby, the police engine. Hmm. The engines all explained what they had lost, and Bobby listened intently. Bobby carefully examined each crime scene. In each one he found specks of green paint and the unmistakable scent of Welsh coal. Finally, he arrived at Henry's shed. Inside were all the missing items. There's my antique dome collection, exclaimed Gordon. My spare buffers are there, announced Thomas. And there's my porn mags! I mean... Uh, who, who's those porn mugs? The engines were very sorry for the way they treated the new arrivals. Henry agreed to seek help for his kleptomania while he paid his debt to society. All the engines agreed not to be so suspicious of people just because they're different. <laughs> <laughs>